Today I'm doing a Fiesta ST brake pad change on the front brakes of this Fiesta ST2 2018. All the Fiesta Mark 8 brake pads are the same at the front and I'm fitting this Paget T2793 set. Stay tuned, let me show you how. You know the drill, car in the air, on axle stands, handbrake tight on, one rear wheel chocked. Turn the wheel fully towards the side that you're working on. Remove the slide pin caps, top and bottom, and the cap from the bleed nipple. Put them somewhere safe. Place a brake hose clamp on the brake hose. Don't use pliers or mole grips. Buy a proper clamp and a 5mm brake bleeding hose onto the bleed nipple. And then with your 10mm spanner, open the bleed nipple about half a turn. Now with a blunt lever, there's a gap just between the back plate and the piston that you can place the lever in and gently retract the piston and push the lever in at the same time. Close the bleed nipple and remove the bleed hose and your spanner. With a large flat screwdriver, lift the clip on the caliper away from the bracket at the top and the bottom and if you're really lucky like me you'll find it'll just spring off into your hand. One of the problems with these uh, zinc alloy calipers is that these steel springs often get corroded into these holes here. We'll come back to that shortly. With a 10 millimeter socket or spanner, release the hose bracket from the suspension strut. Keep the screw somewhere safe. Make sure that the hose is free. With a seven mil hex on a ratchet or with a seven millimeter caliper pin tool, undo both caliper pins. Undo the bottom one completely first. Once it's undone, push the caliper pin back into its uh, rubber housing. Then the top one. These are rotating very freely, so I can uh, just use the tool and my fingers. But once the pin releases from the caliper carrier, lift the caliper away from the carrier and the disc. And with a S hook or a piece of string, hang your caliper up on the suspension leg. Do not allow your caliper to drop and hang on the hose. Now don't just go fitting the new pads at this point without a second thought. That's what a lot of garages would do uh, in, in order to uh, rush the job, increase throughput through the workshop and increase profit levels. At this point we need to do a little bit of cleaning up and lubricating. So follow this section carefully. While the caliper's hanging up, pull the slide pins out of their rubbers now, this is the first time that this car has had new brakes since it was new. You'll see that this slide pin is quite dirty at this end. That works against free sliding in the rubber. So give it a little brake cleaner and clean it up with a, either a brass or a steel wire brush. And with a suitable nylon brush, again with some brake cleaner, give the uh, insides of the pin rubbers a good clean. Wash any dust away. If you're getting value from this video, please be sure to like it down by the title. With the caliper still hanging, but also with a nylon brush, loosen any dust that's around the uh, piston gaiter and on the caliper in general. Don't blow the dust away and keep it at arm's length so you don't breathe it in. And then wash the dust off with some brake cleaner. It won't take very long. Brake cleaner dries very rapidly, but allow that to dry thoroughly. Now bring your attention down to the carrier. First of all, if you're not changing the discs, which we're not in this case, because the, uh, the wear lip on these discs is virtually non-existent, so they're good for another set of pads, put a, put a screwdriver down against there and spin the disc and make sure to get any loose rust off the disc edge. Brush the debris away from the carrier with a steel brush Clean up all of the running surfaces where the pads contact the carrier, top and bottom. Again, loosen off all the dust. Once you've loosened the dust, give it a wash down with brake cleaner and let it dry thoroughly. With a fresh steel brush, give it another going over to make sure you get into all the crevices and all the little areas that are hard to reach and a final wash down and let it dry thoroughly again. Now it's time for a little lube, just on the contact points and the slide pins. Do not, I repeat, do not use copper grease. Copper grease is not suitable for this application. It dries out and goes hard 
and in particular it causes the slide pins to stick and that's what leads to uneven wear on your brake pads. I'm using uh, Ceratec. Uh, the new tube I've got is branded Mintex. I did used to have Techstar. Whether you get it from Mintex, Techstar or Paget, it's all the same stuff because they're all different brands of the same group, TMD Friction. Now the contact points for the pads on the carrier are here and here. So with a small brush, small wooden applicator, just put a small, a small smear on those contact points all around on the, for the four contact points on the uh, carrier. Although there is a gap to the pad from the back there, it might be useful to put a little in there. Do that top and bottom. Do make sure that you don't get any on the disc, which is why we're using a small brush rather than using your finger or squeezing the tube directly into the space. Back at the caliper, you can remove the hose clamp now and make sure that your piston is pushed fully home. Again with your brush, put some Ceratec inside the slide pin rubbers. Do that for both. About half a pea sized blob is uh, quite sufficient in each. And again with your brush, dab some grease here where the uh, pad contacts and also onto the piston face that contacts the pad. Put your slide pins back in, make sure that they uh, run completely free. Rotate them to spread the grease around. A pair of pads, one has a big bracket on it and the other just two spots. The one with the bracket goes into the piston side, the one with the two spots just goes on the other side. But I think it's easier just to slot it into the carrier. And now bring your caliper down, make sure that the uh, hose isn't twisted and of course make sure that you've put the pad in the right side. Lol. And slot your caliper into place. Start your top slider pin off, screwing it into the caliper carrier. Then push down on the caliper at the bottom and start the lower one off. And finish it off with your tool. Nice and hand tight. Don't forget to put your brake hose bracket back into position and screw up the bolt. Open the bleed nipple ever so slightly with your 10 millimeter spanner. Make sure that you see brake fluid drip from it and then tighten it back up. That tells you that there's no air in there and pump the brake pedal three or four times to push the piston and the pads into position. Make sure that the brake pedal is firm. These calipers, in common with a lot of cars, are made of a, a zinc aluminium alloy known as Zamac. You see this slight white marking on the surface? These are quite new, but that will get gradually worse. That's the zinc component of the zinc aluminium alloy corroding. Zinc oxide is white and it forms like a white powder. And one of the problems I've found with these zinc alloy calipers, particularly ones with, that have this type of clip like the uh, Saab does, is that the steel clip and the zinc alloy cause sacrificial corrosion inside this hole. And what can happen as these calipers get a little older is that that corrosion can cause these springs to become stuck in these holes. Now, since this is not very old, and it's the first time it's having new uh, pads, clean out the hole, perhaps with a small drill if you've got one, and put some Ceratec into the hole. The Ceratec won't wash away and it'll help to keep dirt and water out. Now we need to put the clip back on. Now I don't know if there's any uh, approved method of doing it, but this is how I do it. I start at the top, put the uh, spring into the top clip and bring the uh, spring round to the inner side of the carrier. Make sure that that's pushed in. Now push in the spring lower leg and then pull the lower portion to the back to the inner side of the carrier. I now also put some more Ceratec around here in an effort to keep that uh, sacrificial corrosion at bay and stop water getting into the, uh, into the hole. You might say, oh, well, why should I bother? By the time that's corroded up, I might not have the car anymore, but you never know. The next time you need brake pads, it might have gone bad. It's also worth putting a little Ceratec just in the uh, space where the spring con contacts with the uh, carrier, just to make sure that it all moves freely. Make sure that the spring's pushed fully home in those holes. From the factory, the studs and all this uh, mating face comes uh, dry, nothing on it. So you could put a little Ceratec around this flange because that's the flange the alloy fits to that very closely. And also uh, a little bit of Ceratec just in the threads. Not much, just a little. 
Again, don't use copper grease. It dries out and it causes the uh, wheel nuts to get stuck onto the studs. This stuff won't dry out. Don't forget to put your slide pin covers and the bleed nipple cover back on. Don't forget to top up the master cylinder reservoir with fresh brake fluid. If you got value from this video and I've saved you some time, hassle, maybe some money, consider supporting the channel. Links in description and I shall see you next time.